Back to eastern Wisconsin now, where the Republican Party is convening for day three of the National Convention. Natalie Brand with CBS News has been reporting throughout the convention from Milwaukee. She joins us now live. Natalie, what are some of the headlines heading into tonight? Derek, good to be with you. The focus today is expected to be on foreign policy. And if you look at the list of speakers, uh, it ranges from you know, the elected lawmakers who we would expect to see to also military veterans, Gold Star families, the family of an American Israeli hostage in Gaza. And then, of course, there's a lot of anticipation for the headlining speech, which will be delivered by the new VP nominee, Ohio Senator J.D. Vance, uh, who will be speaking to the public for the first time as the VP nominee, introducing himself to the American American public, although I should say he did have uh, a small campaign uh, type event earlier this afternoon. He declined to preview his speech tonight, but said that he would work to fire up the crowd. I've been talking to a lot of delegates who are excited about his age, just 39 years old. They point to his youth. They say that is a positive for the ticket. And they also uh, point out that he has a really interesting personal story, which he wrote about in his memoir, Hillbilly elegy growing up in poverty, uh, his family struggles with drug addiction, and they believe that will allow him uh, to reach out to working class uh, people and voters in some of these key battleground states such as Pennsylvania, Michigan, and here in Wisconsin. Natalie, were there any conversations with delegates where they were wondering uh, why this particular choice? Because some were saying maybe you need someone to, to unite the party who maybe is a little more towards center. Right. And as we've seen from Senator Vance uh, in 2024, he's one of Trump's most vocal defenders in the U.S. Congress, though interesting to point out that Back in 2016, he was a harsh critic of Trump. Uh, but when you, you talk to delegates here, they see this as a strategic pick because of his age and also the states that he could bring uh, and or the states that he could help make inroads in. It's also interesting to note, Derek, that in former President Trump's announcement on social media about this pick, he even noted that J.D. Vance will be focusing on not only the key battlegrounds states that I mentioned, but also Minnesota, as the Trump campaign uh, believes that they can, or they argue, that they can try to expand the electoral map this cycle. Yeah, we're hearing that from a lot of representatives from the DFL here in Minnesota as well. Natalie Brand, live in Milwaukee, Wisconsin for us. Thanks for the time again today.